My new Sterling engine runs quite rough, still unbalanced. So I need heavier counterweights. I have this piece of very dense tantalum sheet, which is very difficult to machine. I thought this would be an ideal part for my homemade Pulse EDM, which I have used to make many parts. Here I can show you exactly how I work with my Pulse EDM built according to the book by Ben Fleming. In the last video, I made a brass electrode, which is now being used here. My settings for this are gap power 4, on time 330 microseconds, off time 30 microseconds, Gap voltage 3.6, a medium dither, and the electrode is positively polarized. Everything looks good and is running smoothly and stably. After about half an hour and an eroding depth of about two millimeters, I notice that the surface of the tantalum plate is barely scratched. And indeed, the brass electrode has two millimeters of wear, while perhaps 0.1 millimeters has been removed from the tantalum sheet. I thought that with my Pulse EDM, the issue of electrode wear was over, but with tantalum, it looks different. Since brass is not the ideal electrode material, I tried using graphite and copper. As I no longer had any special EDM graphite and also wanted to save the cost and time of ordering it, I used the fine grain graphite I already had. This showed a very poor spark pattern during erosion and after a short time, I stopped the experiment as changing the parameters did not bring any improvement. The type of graphite did not seem to be so suitable. Next, I tried a copper electrode. Again, everything looked very good. But even after more than an hour, no great depth had been reached. That would take too long, and I decided to try conventional milling. You can see how hard the milling cutter has to work, but it functions surprisingly well. Now I have made the required counterweights after all and can finally balance the Sterling engine properly and carry out serious performance tests. Thanks for watching.